All right, as you guys can tell from the title, I do plan on hosting a hackathon in about a week. So next Wednesday, I'm going to be launching a website where you can go and register and get the full rules for the hackathon. If you don't know what a hackathon is, it's basically a kind of like a competition where you can go and try to work on a project. You have to apply by some rules and at the very end, you submit your project. I personally will be kind of reviewing these projects and the winners will get a cash prize. I managed to find a sponsor who is able to support up to 2,500 of cash prizes. And I have different categories in the hackathon, so there's chances to win at least some type of money. The sponsor is from Convex, which is a backend as a service, which I've actually done another sponsor video a while back. And to be honest, I'm the one who actually reached out to them and asked them, hey, like, I want to I want to do a hackathon on my channel. Would you guys be interested in, like, sponsoring it? And they said, sure. That's kind of what's going on behind the scenes. I personally like Convex a lot. When I used them for the first time on that previous sponsor video, I was actually kind of blown away with how awesome it is to use their service. But without spoiling anything in this video, because I don't want to give away too many rules to give people like an unfair advantage. I do want to say that this is just me running this. It's just me. I'm going to be reviewing. I'm going to be judging. And I'm also going to be in a Discord channel when the hackathon is going on. It's going to be a two-week hackathon starting next Wednesday. And then you have two weeks to work on a project and submit it. So here is the sponsor, Convex.dev. I definitely recommend go check them out. They are the sponsor of this hackathon. And I guess this video by proxy, you could say. They are a backend as a service. So like I mentioned, without kind of spoiling too much about the rules, the one thing that you will have to do is you will have to use Convex when you are building out your hackathon project. That's something that sounds interesting to you. You have a weak head start to actually start learning about Convex and researching on it. But I also recently made a video where I created an AI generative project where basically, I don't, I don't know if you guys have seen this video, but basically in the left, I have a React component where you can draw a picture, you can type in a prompt, and using Convex and Replicate, I was able to take that image and generate various type of images over here on the right. So if you are interested in just, you know, getting an overview of like, you know, how can you build something with the Convex, I have a nice tutorial out there. There's also tons of resources on the Convex website. Go to their developer docs. You can kind of read through that. They have templates you can use. Now you can see me over here. I'm actually over here on their templates. But they have a lot of good resources, a lot of good documentation. I do have a theme I plan on doing for this hackathon. So I'm not going to talk about what that theme is, but in order to actually win in some of the main categories, you have to follow along the theme and I'm going to be judging you on how well you kind of achieved that goal. So like I mentioned, this is kind of for my Discord channel and also my YouTube subscribers. But if anyone were to stumble upon this and see that I'm doing a hackathon, I just want this to be a relaxing, fun place to kind of hack at something and just build something using something new. It's always good to expose yourself to new services and tooling because you often learn really interesting things by exposing yourself to new things, right? So if you are interested, you can go to my YouTube channel and I think on my profile itself at the top and on the bottom of most of my videos, I have a link to my Discord. You can see the link there. And also if you go to my Web Dev Cody homepage, you'll see that there's a newsletter in four more links. If you click on these and go down, you'll see that I have my Discord right here. So if you want to join my Discord, be sure to click that link and go ahead and join on in. That is the primary place that we are going to be discussing or if you need to ask questions or get help definitely go ahead and join my Discord where you can also probably try to find teammates. If you wanted to do this hackathon with another person, you could potentially submit your stuff as a team. And if you guys together were to win some of these cash prizes, you guys have to figure out how to split that money up. But yeah, that's the idea. So join me Discord at the very top. There's a hackathon um, category where I have a general chat where people can talk. I got a help form where people can ask questions. And then I also have a voice chat if people want to get into a voice and actually like, now I will say that the money is just like a little incentive to get people to kind of like participate. But ultimately, I think this is just something fun that I would like to do with my community. We can all just kind of build stuff and kind of share with each other what we're building. And I think that can be a really good learning experience for a lot of these beginner developers and intermediate developers who are kind of coming into the industry and wanting to work with other people and trying to understand how software is built and collaborating. So that's kind of the overview. My plan is next Wednesday when I do kick off the hackathon, I'm, I'm going to publish a video where I'm going to show you the link you can go to register. In order to submit your project, you do have to register and agree to some rules, which I'll have a custom um, website that I'm working on for that. Secondly, I'm going to be publishing a long form tutorial, kind of like the other one I just showed, but just building something new, just so that you have another place you can go to to get help understanding how Convex works or how building out some type of full stack application could look like with, uh, in, in my case, I'll be using Next.js with Tailwind and Convex, but you're welcome to do whatever you want. Convex does have uh, libraries for Node, Python, 
React, React Native, and Next.js in Rust. But my rules do say you have to use Convex, so you're kind of limited to what they can support. Um, you can't come in here and start using Vue or start using Svelte unless those are supported by Convex. So go read through their docs and make sure that they are or are not supported. All right, so again, mark your calendars, right? The plan is Wednesday, I will kick off the hackathon officially. Although you can still like start looking in the Convex now if you want to get a head start. Officially, I'm going to be kicking off the hackathon on Wednesday which is September 6th. Um, and I will post a video to kick it off. I also post a link to the registration page and um, the rules. And then also I will start actively helping people out in the Discord community starting on this day for two weeks, right? So the hackathon is going to be for two weeks. So it's going to end Wednesday on the 20th, right? So you have to have your stuff submitted on this day. I'll, I'll take some time to judge everything, review stuff. I do plan to have... One of the categories is going to be peer judgment. So like you can go through and you can review other people's work if you wanted to and, you know, give it a, a heart if you want. And that's going to be another way that you could potentially win on one of the cash prizes. Again, this is all for fun. Like don't, don't come into this expecting like a giant competition where you're going to like be able to pay off a car payment with what you win. I just want to be able to have something fun with my community. So if you think that's something that you might enjoy, be sure to press the bell icon on my YouTube channel and just stay tuned for when I kick off the uh, hackathon officially and also my Discord. Be sure to join my Discord and just be on standby for when this thing starts happening. All right, other than that, have a good day and happy coding.